Hello everyone, it's Mallory here with We're All About Cats. In today's video, we're going to be trying out a kind of cool pet toy called the Cheerable Wicked Ball. So this is a toy that's made for both dogs and cats, and it works automatically and promises to give your pet entertainment whether you're at home or not. So basically, it's a little ball that moves around on its own. So all of that is super interesting, and we wanted to get some firsthand experience with the Cheerable Wicked Ball. So keep watching until the end in order to find out exactly what I thought of the Cheerable Wicked Ball and what my cats thought of it too. I ordered the blue rubber Wicked Ball. Um, there are a few different styles and color options, so you can get a blue, green, or yellow rubber shell, or you can choose from two other kind of alternative shells, one of which is called the Cyclone Ball. It's more deeply ridged, and it's supposed to be um, less easily destructible. And then you can also get a version that's covered in a faux wool. So it's covered in this faux gray wool and it's supposed to be more appropriate for cats. Um, it also has a little catnip slot in addition to the standard treat hole, um, which is supposed to, again, make it more appealing for cats. Um, unfortunately, I did not realize that the gray ball was intended for cats uh, when I made my order, so I ended up getting the blue ball. But there doesn't really seem to be any huge difference between the ball that's covered in faux wool and the standard rubber shells. They're all the same size, measuring three inches in diameter and weighing 200 grams, and all of them are marketed as appropriate for both dogs and cats. So my Wicked Ball arrived in a small box. It was pretty nicely packaged. The ball came with a user manual and uh, a charging cable so that you can recharge the battery. Um, before I was able to start using the Wicked Ball, I had to open it up and remove the core and then charge it so that it was ready. So you'll charge the battery for about an hour um, before you're able to use it for the first time. The light will go from yellow to green, indicating that it's fully charged and ready to go. And it's important to note that while the Wicked Ball does come with a micro USB charging cable, you are going to have to use your own AC adapter. So once everything is charged up, you're going to have to turn it on. So in order to turn on the Wicked Ball, you'll press the little button on the core for at least three seconds, and then the light will turn on. And from there, you can choose which interaction mode you want to use. So the Wicked Ball works in three different interaction modes. And so indicated by color, these are green for gentle mode, blue for normal, and pink for active mode. And which mode you choose is going to depend on uh, your cat's preferences and how you want the ball to act. So basically, in gentle mode, it's going to move a little bit less, and in active mode, it's going to move a bit more and more vigorously, kind of jumping and shaking around the house. So I started using it on active mode right away. So once you've turned on the Wicked Ball, it's going to start uh, doing play session cycling. So basically it's going to go through a cycle of sitting still and then moving a little bit and then shaking a lot again and again for 10 minutes. So that's a standard play session. And then it'll go into a rest phase for 30 minutes before starting up again. So it'll continue going through this cycle again and again until the battery runs out, which typically takes about eight hours. Now, while it's in that rest phase, it will reactivate if you or your cat bumps the toy, and at that point, it'll just go into another 10-minute session. As the ball goes through different sort of activity cycles, it'll have different colors light up in that center band. So when the ball is kind of rolling along, just moving gently, it'll show a blue light, and then when it's still, you'll see a yellow light, and finally, when it's really shaking around, maybe jumping a bit, it'll have a pink light. And so the vigorousness of each of these phases is going to be determined by which interaction mode you choose. So in gentle mode, it's not going to do a lot of that jumping around, and in active mode, it's going to do it a ton. So I let the ball loose on my house and kind of observed what it did and how my cats reacted to it. So I could immediately tell that the Wicked Ball seems to be pretty sturdy and robust and that it can handle quite a lot. So I was testing it with cats and there wasn't a lot of gnawing going on and my cats weren't playing with it in a very 
vigorous way. But I do live in a two story house that has some big drop offs and the Wicked Vol really showed its strength after taking a fall um, from the second to the first floor and it was fine. Um, so obviously this Wicked Ball can really withstand quite a bit of abuse, um, whether it's falling off of a ledge or being gnawed on a bit or played with really vigorously, um, the Wicked Ball can really, really withstand quite a lot. The second thing that I noticed while I was running the Wicked Ball around the house was that it could definitely present a hazard for people living in the house. So the Wicked Ball is moving around on its own. You never really know where it's going to end up. Uh, the Wicked Ball the other day made its way down the stairs and ended up just sitting on a landing um, so people could have stepped on it in the dark or just by accident and it could have caused some serious problems on the stairs. Um, so it's important that you know that the Wicked Ball is in the house and that you're looking for what's um, underfoot because it could easily make its way into a walkway or onto stairs and be really hazardous for people. So we've talked a bit about what I thought of the Wicked Ball as it was just kind of bouncing and shaking around the house, but what did my cats think of it? So if you've watched our video on the best cat toys, you'll know that my cats aren't that excited about most toys. They'd probably rather chase each other around the house than play with most toys. Um, but I was hopeful about this one. I thought that the cool design um, would maybe prove to be a little bit more exciting than your typical toy, um, but no such luck. Uh, my cat seemed curious about it initially, um, but after a little while they seemed to kind of lose interest and were ultimately really ignoring it. So I tried to encourage Wessie to play with it. I presented it to him multiple times. I used the snack hole and stuffed a single little treat into the tiny hole, and that did elicit a little bit of a paw poke, but other than that, uh, he really didn't show that much interest. And Forrest seemed to be even less interested than Wessie was. I encouraged her to kind of take a look at it, tried to get her to play with it, but aside from a little passing interest just watching it, um, she didn't seem very interested um, and certainly didn't play with it. Now I do think that this ball could be more appealing to a wider range of cats if it was maybe a little bit smaller, um, maybe the size of a golf ball, and maybe moved a little bit more quickly. So even when it's in active mode, the ball never really has that sort of fast erratic movement um, that you might see uh, in a cat's prey. And so I don't really know that the way that it moves is going to appeal to a lot of cats. That said, uh, there's certainly a type of cat who's going to like the Wicked Ball. I've seen some cool videos from other YouTubers showing their cats playing with it. And um, if your cat has the right uh, personality, I think that it could certainly be a great option. So overall, I think that the Cheerable Wicked Ball is a really cool concept and certainly seems to be very well built. It seems like a sturdy, robust toy that could last you for years. Of course, my cats weren't that interested in it and clearly it's not going to appeal to every cat. But again, if your cat has the right personality and tends to be interested in toys kind of like this, I think that it's going to be a really fun and novel uh, choice. It's also going to be a really good option if you have a multi-pet home. So if you have a dog and a cat, or maybe multiple dogs and multiple cats, uh, I think that multiple members of your pet family are going to be able to enjoy the cheerable Wicked Ball. So it's a really cool option for multi-pet homes. So the Cheerable Wicked Ball costs $49 in the Cheerable store, and you'll get discounts for buying multiple toys. So if you buy two Wicked Balls, you'll get $7 off of each ball. And then if you buy three, you get $10 off of each ball. And in case your Wicked Ball shell gets damaged or you just want to kind of mix things up, you can buy replacement shells for $9.99. If you're interested in trying the Cheerable Wicked Ball for yourself, check out the description. There you'll find a link to the Cheerable store. So that's about it. I hope that this video gave you a better understanding of what the Wicked Ball does, how it works, and if it could be a good option for your cat. If you found this video helpful and you're interested in more product reviews and buyer's guides and information on all things cats, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll receive the news every time you release a new video. 
All right, so thank you so much for watching. Bye.